हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी रेडमी पैड टू एंड रेडमी स्मार्ट पेन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू 18 पावरफुल फीचर्स फॉर दिस टैबलेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट The first feature is about multitasking. So, for example, I open my note taking app, and here I will start taking my notes. But I also want to visit a website, so I will take out this taskbar, and then from here I will open my internet browser. So I will drag and drop this internet browser to split screen, and now I can work on both of these apps together. So I can continue on my note taking, and I can also scroll through this website as well. The next thing is you can also drag content from this website to your notes so for example i want this image in my notes so i will use my smart pen i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this image as well the next thing is you can also drag text from this website to your notes so for example i want this text inside my notes so i will use my smart pen and i will start selecting the text so i will select it till here now again i will press and hold it like this and then i will drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this text as well so guys please note that for these two features you have to use a third party note taking app for example here i am using note voice because the inbuilt notes app does not have this feature The next thing is you can also resize these two apps. So here you can see you can easily resize these apps. You can also change their position. So you just have to tap in the middle like this and then you can easily change the position of these two apps. You can also open another app in floating window. So you have to take out your taskbar and then you can select your app. So for example, I want to open this gallery app. I will drag and drop it over here. And now I can work on all of these apps together. The next feature is about Gemini for screen. So for example, you are browsing through a website but you want a detailed explanation of a specific topic. So you can use Gemini for screen feature. So first of all, you have to swipe from this corner, it will open Gemini. And then from here, you have to select this option of ask about screen. So it will take a screenshot for this page and then here you can start writing your prompt. So for example, I want a detailed explanation of this page so i will start writing my prompt and then i will send this prompt so gemini will start analyzing this page and then it will start generating a response for me so here you can see gemini will start explaining this topic and now if you want you can also export it so you just have to press and hold it like this and then here you can see you can export it to your documents you can also share it with other apps and you can also copy this text as well The next feature is about write with screen off. For example, your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just use your smart pen, tap on the screen one time like this. It will open notes and here you can start writing anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can just go back from here. Your screen will locked again and later you can access it through your notes. You can also use this tablet for note taking. It also support third party note taking apps. For example, here I am using Notewise app which comes with a lot of interesting features. So for example, I want to stabilize my handwriting. I can use stabilization feature. So I will select this pen tool and here we have this stabilization option. I will select it and then from here you can set it to any level. For example, I will set it to level 3 and then I will start writing so it will automatically Basically, stabilize my handwriting. You can also use other tools. For example, you want to draw a shape. You can just draw it with your pen, and then just hold your pen. It will convert it into a neat shape. Same way, you can also draw other shapes, and then later, if you want, you can also edit them as well. You can also insert table inside your notes. So here we have this table tool. I will select it and then you can draw any table inside your notes. You can also customize it. For example, if you want to increase or decrease the number of rows and columns, you can just select this table tool and then here you can fully customize your table. 
you can also add text to your notes so here we have this text tool and then you can start writing so you can also use your smart pen to write and then it will convert it into the text so here you can see i write with my pen and then it will convert it into the text the next thing is you can also use masking tape feature so here we have this masking tape i will select it and then you can mask your text so this will be really helpful for active recall now for example i want to reveal my my text so I will tap on this tape and then it will reveal my text so this will be really helpful for active recalling you can also use this smart pen button to switch to eraser tool so I will press it and now I can easily erase my notes the next feature is about reading mode for example you are reading a book but you want to read it for a longer period of time so you can use reading mode option first of all you have to bring down this quick settings panel and then from here you have to select this option of reading mode so you have to press and hold it like this it will open reading mode settings so you have to enable it from here and then you have to select this option of classic and here you can do all of your customizations so for example you can set your color temperature so you can easily adjust the color temperature for example I can set it to maximum and you can also adjust the texture so here you can see you can adjust the texture for your screen so this will give you a paper like texture so I will set it to maximum and now you can start reading and you can easily read for a longer period of time the next feature is about notes on videos for example you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime so just press this smart pen button and then tap on the screen three times like this it will open your notes and then you can start taking your notes and you can also watch your video you can also use split screen option so you have to select these three dots and then from here you can select this split screen option now you can take your notes on one side of the screen and on the other side you can watch your video you can also do a screen recording of your note taking and your video so you have to bring down this quick settings panel and then from here you have to select this screen recorder so it will open this screen recorder and then from here you can select this start recording option so it will start recording your screen and your video the next thing is once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option so your screen recording will automatically save in your gallery later you can edit it and you can share it one more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about smart capture for example you want to capture a specific part of your screen you can use smart capture option so first of all you have to press this second button from your smart pen and then you have to tap on your screen one time so it will open this smart capture option and then you can use your smart pen to select the area so for example I want to capture only this area so I will select it with my smart pen and then I will select this option of save so it will be automatically saved to my gallery and later I can access it the next feature is about audio recording while taking your notes so I will use notewise app and here you can record your audio while taking your notes so you have to select this audio recording option and then from here you have to select new audio recording so it will start recording the audio so you can take your notes and you can also record your lecture once you finish with your audio recording you can select this stop option your recording will automatically save now how to access it you have to select this mic option again and then from here you can see your recording is available over here now if you want you can also export it you can also rename it and you can also delete it the next feature is about text to notes for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information to your notes so you can use your smart pen first of all you have to make your selection so for example I will select this text till here it will show you this menu you have to select this share option and then you have to select notes so your text will save to your notes and it will also show you the website link as well the next thing is you can also 
use text to chat GPT option as well. So for example, I want more information about this text. So I will start making my selection. So I will select this text till here. Then it will show you this menu. You have to select these three dots. And then here you can see we have this option of ask chat GPT. So I will select it. And then here it will automatically add this information to your chat GPT prompt. You can also add your question and then you can send it. So chat GPT will start responding to your prompt. Now let's talk about smart pen. So this smart pen is not included with the tablet. You have to buy it separately. So here is the box for smart pen. And the extra nib is also included inside the box. So here is the extra nib for smart pen. So you have to charge this smart pen with type C charger and it will take two hours for complete charge. The battery life for this smart pen is about 12 hours. You have to connect this smart pen with your tablet via Bluetooth. The next thing is it also support pressure sensitivity. So for example, here I open Notewise app and I'm using this pen tool and now I will try to draw a line and if I increase the pressure you can see the thickness for the line and if I decrease the pressure so here you can see the line thickness the next thing is it also supports palm rejection so for example if I rest my hand on my tablet and now if I try to write something here you can see there are no spots on screen which means it also support palm rejection the next thing is it also also support tilt sensitivity so if I select this brush pen tool and now if I try to draw and here you can see the tilt sensitivity for this smart pen so it also support tilt sensitivity so this smart pen also has these two buttons and each button has different functionality for the first button you can use it to switch between different tools so for example i want to switch to eraser tool so i will press this smart pen button it will switch to eraser mode and now i can erase anything on my tablet you can also use this button for scrolling through website for the second button you can use it for screen capture or smart capture you can also use this tablet for PDF annotations. So I'm using Notewise app and it has all the necessary tools for PDF annotations. I will select plus icon and then from here I will select import PDF and then I will select my PDF file. And now I can start annotating my PDF file using all these tools. So for example, I want to highlight this text. I will select this highlighter tool and then I can easily highlight my text. I can also underline my text as well. So so I will select this pen tool and now I will draw this line and then I will hold my pen and then it will convert it into a straight line. I can also add shapes. So here we have this shape tool and then I can easily add any shape inside my PDF file. I can also organize pages as well. So here we have this page organize option. So now for example, I want to change the position for this page. So I will just press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop anywhere inside this PDF file. The next thing is you can also add a new page. So here we have this plus icon so you can select it and here we have this option of new page. So I will select it and here you can see a new page has been added. The next thing is once you finish with your annotations, you can also export your PDF file. So you have to select these three dots and here we have this export option. So you can export it as PDF, as image or as a notewise file. The next feature is about focus mode. So I will bring down this quick settings panel and here we have this focus mode option. So I will turn it on. So some of the apps are disabled and I can only access the apps that are related to my studies. So this will be really helpful for me to focus on my studies. You can also customize this focus mode. So again, you have to bring down this quick settings panel and then you have to press and hold this focus mode. So it will open the settings and here you can fully customize this focus mode. You can also use this tablet for digital planning. So here I'm using this digital planner from Notewise app and it has these amazing hyperlinks. So for example, I want to go for week number two. I can directly select from here and then it will open this weekly planner. And now for example, I want to open a specific day. I can directly select from here and then it will open this daily planner. And here I can write down my schedule. I can also make my to-do list. I can also add my my meal plan as well. 
Now let's talk about gaming. So the tablet is equipped with MediaTek Helio G100 Ultra chipset. The setup ensures smooth performance for casual and mid-tier mobile games. The tablet has 11 inch display with 90 hertz refresh rate ideal for immersive visuals. So here you can see the gaming performance for tablet. So the tablet that I'm using in this video has 128 GB storage and 4 GB RAM. You can also extend the memory of this tablet. So the main camera is 8 megapixel and selfie camera is 5 megapixel. It has massive 9000 mAh battery with quad speakers for immersive sound. So this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.